Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at Rosemont, Illinois, at the World of Wheels, and with that, we're at the Buick Club Display. Yes, Chicago Land Chapter. Chicago Land Chapter. I'm with Don Adams, and Don's been, uh, we've done your other car before. Which one did we do before? We did the 69 Riviera GS about S four or five years ago. 69 like Riviera GS. Check that one out. And today, we've got a car, I'm gonna grab this. Today, we've got a car that you bought, correct me if I'm wrong, you're the original owner. Original owner. Bought it brand new in May of 75. How did you know you wanted... Oh, I could see why you wanted it now, but how did you know back then? Uh, I found out that 75 was going to be the last year for a convertible. Okay. With GM. And uh, technically GM still built a convertible in 76, but they were all Cadillacs. Okay. Because Cadillac bought the last 14,000 retractable top mechanisms. Gotcha. But 75 was the last year for the full run of all the divisions, Pontiac, Olds, Buick, and Chevy. Right. This was the last year for the convertible. And, and they built 5,300 of them. Step right alongside me. Let's take a look at your amazing car. Now this is the Buick LeSabre. Correct. It's 1975. And let me just let you meditate on that. This car has a stance now, and it definitely had a stance back then. And you still drive this? Yes, it's true. How many miles are on this car? Uh, I think we're about 96,000 miles. That's really low. That's great. You really baby this thing. She's a driver. She goes to Buick Nationals. She was in uh, Colorado in 09 for Nationals up in the Colorado Springs. So, you know, with a car like this, it's you know, it's not a, a GTO or, no. or it's not the, the Grand Sport or something like this. But yet the convertible, step back with me. When you drop that top on this thing, that's got to be a big statement. I mean, it's got to look like a parade coming by. <laughs> and you do have a boot for the back so people could sit on the back. Technically, yeah. You got to watch all these things. a cracked the fiberglass. They got too much butt. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get thinner people back that's there it. on the car. Just kids. Kids that kids from uh, the local uh, the YMCA or something are selling Girl Scout cookies maybe on the back of the car. That's funny. How did you keep it so clean all these years? What's the uh, secret? She has not seen a winner since 1977. Okay, all right, so you knew it was special. You kept it as special. I never dreamed of that in 42 years, but here we are. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Let me show the bag. You know, Buick is such a classy car, isn't it? I mean, I'm just going to move this. Can you grab that for just a second? Sure. I want to move that just so I can get that look right there. Buick always kind of just symbolized class. Yeah. Always advertised around this time as a premium motor car, premium built motor car. Let's, can we open the trunk? We've got a little something for people in there, too. Over. So here in the trunk, these are all the original pieces. It's almost kind of faded out, which is okay. But we've got the service manual, like so, the chassis service manual. But look at this. Don, where did you find these? If I remember correctly, I got them from the Buick farm on the internet, and they deal specifically in selling Buick NOS, new old stock, up to, I think, uh, about 98 or 2000. And this is the actual fabric. Yes. Which is so cool. And I, I mean, that was for the whole, at, whole at, lineup of Buick in 75. These were the dealer's books. These are what the dealers showed the people when they were looking at a car and they were trying to decide what they wanted. That's amazing. That's really, really cool. And all of the, I mean, I'm touching the leather top back then. Gosh, remember this? The wood the grain? Oh my wood gosh. Grain. Yeah, and the. And that was the tailgate window went up and the gate yeah, went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, the, the Electra feel. 
There's the Riviera. Look at the seats. Those are pretty nice seats, right? Yeah. And then those are the options that were available for the different models. Look at that. Look at this. All the different wheel covers. For those of you who like the details, you're going to enjoy this. For those of you who don't like the details, you're going to want to move right past this. <laughs> I, I enjoy this. So you're kind of stuck with me on this one. Wow. All right, the roof color tops. Okay. All right. Then underneath were all the different uh, exterior colors that were available for 75 on the different model years, or different models, I should say. Didn't see that coming. Cool. What color is yours? It is Walnut Mist Metallic, code 59. So it's not this one. Is it the W? I think. Fine, if I remember. No, it's red. Uh, here, R. R. Walnut mist. Walnut mist. Okay. I mean, anybody has any questions? It's it's right here. This is the answer book. It's all the factory books. It's all and, the and factory books. And what is books. this? This is the dealer sales guide that listed all the different options and availabilities for each model. God, I forgot about the Skyhawk. Gives overall dimensions of the vehicle, engine availabilities, and what the uh, ratings were. The Century and the Century Custom. The Regal. There we go. No convertible. They didn't, they didn't put a picture. Oh, yeah, she's up at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, very good. Just in the dark blue. Yeah. I'm glad you kind of hides. Okay, so let's shut that. That was a wonderful trip down 1975 Buick Memory Lane. And let's open her up. First of all, the color on here, you can see the metal flight really looks good. I know you've had it one paint job afterwards. She was, she was repainted in 06. Completely stripped down to bare metal and repainted with fresh paint. Unfortunately, lacquer was no longer available because it was acrylic lacquer from the factory. And we've got all kinds of things going on here. We have carpet and vinyl and then this wood feel all in the car. I like that little drop down there so you That's can have you know, your wife, my wife, sit next to me if need be. Or if she doesn't want to, she can fold that she, down, I if guess. If they get bad at you. Yeah, you know. There's a possibility she may fold that down. Hopefully she wouldn't. And it does have a factory eight track player in it as well. A factory eight track. It's built right in the radio. The door opens on it when you put the. Uh, unfortunately, they got us with the power off on the car. Oh, we gotta get the power back I on. Can get power yeah, back all right. On. Get power back on while I'm doing this, please. Because we want to hear this one, or maybe we won't hear it. Here's your factory eight track. on the door is where the cassette would go on the radio. Okay, right here. Or the A-track rather, yeah. Slides right in. What is this? Uh, I think that might be the rear window on defire. Rear, yeah, on rear window defire. I'm getting closer to it. I don't drive it in the winter. I don't use the Yeah, right. You don't know what that one was. I got that. We had to learn that one together. Let's open it up under the hood. It's like a little gun sight. Yeah. Heavy hood, yes. Heavy hood. That's how it was back then. That's when you made them out of metal. Now, they didn't want to make them out of fiberglass and that. Here's the tag. Of 
course, Buick had everything. We got the air conditioning. Correct. We got. This is also first year for the high energy ignition. Oh, really? The coils inside yeah. the center of the distributor. Well, let's let's do what we do. Let's fire it up. Okay. We can do we'll it. let it idle, and then. Uh, is this a hood lock? Was this an option? So your Buick has been super reliable. Yes. Let me just get the. Uh, Let me just listen to it idle. Actually, it sounds like I got a little high idle right now. It's on the right side. Yep. Give it a little kick down because I think it's idling a little high. Which would make sense because we just turned it on. That sounds smooth. That sounds like a well, this is, uh, first year unloaded gasoline, first year catalytic converter. The gas is under here? Yes. Okay. So that's just right. cools down. Yeah, just like that. That's how the old cars work. Yeah, right. Didn't matter what side of the pump you pulled it on. Let's uh, give it a little rev, if you would, please. Nice and quiet. All right, we'll shut that down. I don't want to get too much uh, water on the carpet there. Done. Yes. What a fun car. What a fun car. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Don, good to see you again. Good great, to see you again. Great well. job restoring the car. Oh, it's not, not restored. restored. Yeah, she's, not restored. she's original longer than the paint job. I, I said restored because it looks so good. Thanks so much for again for being on my car store. Thank you, Lou. My pleasure.